Hey guys, it's Jessie V. So before I start this story, I just want to let you guys know I did not experience a robbery in like a store or a bank that involved guns or masks or anything like that. Instead, I experienced people robbing a cash register at my school like, I don't know, four years ago. Actually, now that I think about it, it was like five years ago. I feel so old. When I was in grade 11, I stayed after school one day to work on an art project. I was painting this gorgeous masquerade ball on this mask a piece of canvas and it actually turned out to be a really nice painting. I wish I still had it today to show you guys. So I decided to go to the empty cafeteria to paint because there were tons of tables and it was like super quiet so I could concentrate. The only people that were there with me were three girls. They were probably in about grade 12 and they were sitting at the very far end of the cafeteria right beside the food stands. We had a pizza stand, a sandwich stand, and a pasta stand. And right in the middle of all of this there was a long table with a cash register on top of it and that was so everyone could pay for the food they got from the food stands. Now because school was over all of those food stands were closed, all the food was put away and the cash register was obviously locked. And as I was painting I started noticing that these girls were kind of whispering to each other. I couldn't hear what they were saying but you know when you get this feeling that people are up to something? That's what I was getting. This went on for I don't know about five minutes before one of the girls walked up to the cash register and she kind of of put her hands on both sides of it as if to try and open it but it obviously was locked so it wasn't opening. At this point I was extremely confused as to what was going on. I'm thinking like are these girls actually trying to take money from this cash register? So I thought it would be a good idea to keep watching them just in case they were gonna do what I thought they were gonna do and just like I thought one of the girls walked up to the utensil stand and took out a metal fork. She then placed it in a slot on the cash register and started to like yank it open she was using it kind of like a lever to pry it open and it took like a good 20 tries but it finally burst open and there was all the money right in front of them. And I thought that they were going to pocket all the money but these girls were smarter than I thought they were and they only took a $20 bill each which is still stealing. You still can't do that. And then they closed the cash register again and turned around and saw me sitting there staring at them looking completely shocked. And I was super shy back then like beyond shy. I was completely completely antisocial. So I was not good at like standing up for myself or doing the right thing all of the time. So I wish that I had like went right up to them and was like, no, put that back. You do not do that. But I couldn't, I couldn't get myself to like do that. So because one of the girls saw me looking over at her, she was like, do not tell anybody about this, understand? And at first she intimidated me, but then I found the courage inside and I said back to her, you should probably put that money back or I will have to notify somebody. I can't just not say anything. I tried to say it as politely as possible because I did not want to start a fight and at first the girls kind of laughed at me like they didn't believe what I was saying but when they saw that my face was completely serious I guess I kind of scared them and they put the money right on the table that I was sitting at and walked away. Now because I now had the money in my possession I didn't want it so I had to kind of go to the principal and tell them what happened. I didn't tell them who the girls were because I didn't know who I didn't know their names or anything but the principal did look at the security cameras and and did find out who they were but because they put the money down and didn't walk off with it they didn't get into nearly as much trouble as they would have so I kind of saved their butts but guys they still got in huge trouble like the police were involved and everything but like I said they didn't get as big of a charge as they would have if they left with the money but anyways I just don't understand their mindset behind what they were doing it was broad daylight there were people around the school was still open and they decided to choose that moment to steal from a cash register like it's just just completely ridiculous to me. There's cameras everywhere. You're in a school. Have you lost your mind? But yeah, it's just really good that I stood up to them and that I brought the money to the principal in the end because if I didn't do those things and the principal watched the security footage, it would have shown me getting the money from these girls on the table and not doing anything. So I would have been in huge trouble. So I am very glad that I reported it. And you guys should too. If you see anything that is illegal or that is not very good happening, you should definitely come forward. So yeah, I hope you guys got something out of this video. I'm sure these girls learned their lesson for sure. As usual, my social media information is below along with my vlog channel and my PO Box information. I also have some really cool new merch in like tie-dye colors. So I'll put those here for you guys to look at. And yeah, have an awesome day guys. Bye.